So, what actually happens to our body as we drink alcohol and wake up with a hangover? Drinking alcohol can take its toll on the body. It is a depressant, which means it slows down your body's responses in all kinds of ways. Alcohol's impact on your body starts from the moment you take your first sip. While an occasional glass of wine with dinner isn't a cause for concern, the cumulative effects of drinking wine, beer, or spirits can take its toll. A glass a day may do little damage to your overall health, but if the habit grows or if you find yourself having a hard time stopping after just one glass, the cumulative effects can add up. Alcohol can cause physical health problems, including high blood pressure, stroke, liver disease, and cancer. What happens when you drink alcohol? It doesn't matter what type of alcohol you drink or even whether you mix drinks. The effects are basically the same with the same amount of alcohol. When you drink alcohol, it goes into the stomach and passes into the small intestine, where it's quickly absorbed into the bloodstream. If you have eaten something, it slows the absorption of alcohol so you don't get drunk so quickly. That's why it's a good idea to eat before and during drinking. It takes your body about an hour to metabolize 10 grams, or one standard drink, of alcohol. What causes memory blackouts? We all have that friend who's woken up after a big night out and not been able to remember half the night. That's a blackout. It's different to passing out. You're still conscious and able to carry out conversation, you just can't remember it later. The more alcohol you drink and the faster you drink it, the more likely you are to experience blackouts. Once alcohol in your blood reaches a certain level, your brain simply stops forming new memories. Aside from the immediate noticeable bodily effects of alcohol, there are also a number of other side effects that can occur on a broader and longer term basis. Let's take a look inside the body to see what happens when you continue to drink heavily over a prolonged period of time. The brain. We all know alcohol stops you from thinking clearly, gives you a false sense of bravado, impairs your balance and coordination, and suppresses your natural response to fear and threats. In addition, alcohol consumption can alter your neurotransmitters, the chemicals that control your mood and behavior. This is because drinking alcohol releases excess GABA aminobutyric acid and dopamine, two neurotransmitters that occur naturally in the brain. GABA calms you down and dopamine stimulates pleasure. Too much of these can lead to a host of health problems, including night terrors, hallucinations, shortness of breath, high blood pressure, and an increase in both aggression and depression. The reproductive system. As well as the release of neurotransmitters, alcohol also causes the release of endorphins, which are normally released upon completing rewarding actions. An excess in endorphins can cause low sex drive, depression, low testosterone, infertility, and extreme fatigue. Regular alcohol consumption can also decrease your sperm count, cause erectile dysfunction, and increase the likelihood of premature ejaculation. The liver. As already discussed, when you consume alcohol, it travels to the liver to be processed. A healthy liver will break down the alcohol that it receives. But what happens if you drink too much, too often? The liver has a number of other functions, and excessive drinking can damage this organ, impairing its ability to break down fat, leading to fatty liver disease. Fatty liver disease can lead to alcoholic hepatitis, which is an inflamed and diseased state of the liver. If not treated, then this can lead to psoriasis, which is where the liver is so damaged it can no longer repair itself. Liver failure and liver cancer are the results of psoriasis of the liver. The stomach. Have you ever woken up after a night of drinking with severe heartburn and a dodgy stomach? That's because drinking alcohol increases the production of acid in the stomach beyond normal levels, while also causing irritation and inflammation in the stomach lining. This can lead to stomach ulcers and bleeding in the long term, and increases your risk of gut permeability in the short term. 
Gut permeability is where toxins leak from your digestive system into your bloodstream where they can wreak havoc on your body. The pancreas. In the same way alcohol confuses the brain by making it release neurotransmitters and endorphins it doesn't need to, alcohol also tricks the pancreas into secreting enzymes into itself instead of into the bloodstream. This backlog of enzymes results in inflammation of the pancreas, which in the long term can increase your risk of cancer and reduce ability to produce insulin, which can result in diabetes. The heart. Binge drinking alcohol raises your blood pressure and blood lipids, increasing your risk of suffering from a heart attack or stroke. Heavy drinking over a prolonged period of time can also result in an irregular heartbeat and can gradually weaken the heart muscle, creating a condition known as cardiomyopathy. How do I sober up? If you've had too much, there's no way to sober up quickly. The only thing that can sober you up is time so that the alcohol can be eliminated from your body. The caffeine in the coffee may make you feel more awake, but it doesn't help break down alcohol. You will be just as intoxicated and impaired, even if you feel a little less drunk. The same goes for cold showers, exercise, sweating it out, drinking water, and getting fresh air. These things might help you feel more alert, but they have no impact on your blood alcohol concentration or on the effects of alcohol. What causes hangovers? Researchers haven't identified one single cause of hangovers, but there are a few possible culprits. Alcohol is a diuretic, so it makes you urinate more often, which can lead to dehydration. This is especially the case if you're in a hot, sweaty venue or dancing a lot. Dehydration can make you feel dizzy, sleepy, and lethargic. Alcohol can irritate your stomach lining, causing vomiting and diarrhea, and electrolyte imbalance. An imbalance of electrolytes can make you feel tired, nauseated, and cause muscle weakness and cramps. Too much alcohol can cause your blood vessels to dilate, causing a headache. Electrolyte imbalance and dehydration can also contribute to that thumping head the next morning. Alcohol also interferes with glucose production, resulting in low blood sugar. Not producing enough glucose can leave you feeling sluggish and weak. Alcohol also disrupts sleep. It can make you feel sleepy at first, but it interrupts the circadian cycle, sleep rhythms, and rapid eye movement sleep, so later in the night, you might wake up. It can stop you from getting the quality of sleep you need to wake up feeling refreshed why hair of the dog doesn't work. There is no way to cure a hangover, even with hair of the dog, having a drink in the morning after. But drinking the next morning might delay the onset of symptoms and therefore make you feel better temporarily. Your body needs time to rest, metabolize the alcohol you've already had, and repair any damage from a heavy night of drinking. So it's not a good idea. If you drink regularly and find yourself needing a drink the next morning, this may be a sign of alcohol dependence and you should talk with your GP.